Respiratory problems, definitely. Uh, I think the pollution levels are high also. We have so much of work going on, construction, uh, the metro work, so a lot of dust in the air. So a lot of people with respiratory problems, definitely on the rise. One uh, problem which I have noticed, which I would like to mention here, is people coming with sudden deafness. Mm. And I remember as residents, we used to see it maybe once in six months. Today, I see two to three patients a week. Now, whether this is virus related, whether there are new viruses around which are causing this, we don't know, but there certainly is a rise in this. Uh, a lot of people coming with sinus problems, breathing problems, also perhaps related to the pollution. And, but, uh, but is the sudden deafness related to the incremental we don't rise? Know. We, we feel that when there is no other apparent cause, we feel it is viral. We treat it with steroids, etc., hoping to minimize the inflammation. And uh, maybe the number of viruses which are now around hmm. are far more than what it was, say, 50 years back when I was in training. Hmm. So the definite incidence of sudden hearing loss, the patient goes to sleep normal, wakes up with one ear completely gone, is happening rather often. You should download an app on your phone which hmm. gives you the decibel level of whatever you are doing. Hmm. Anything more than 80 decibel prolonged period can give you deafness. If you go to 100 decibels or more, short exposures, which is what music concerts are all about. Huge big speakers and you know, they're blasting hmm. music. And if you go to 130 decibels, a single exposure can give you deafness. Oh. So what happens is the sound vibrations through the eardrum, through the ossicles, go to the inner ear. Those hair cells which are supposed to convert the sound into electrical energy are extremely delicate structures. So when they get pounded with this much of sound energy, mm. they can't take it. So mm. they start uh, degenerating, they start going down. And that's why people who are exposed to, that's why you see in airports, there are wear earmuffs. Factories are supposed to wear earmuffs. And very often you find the earmuffs around the neck. Yeah. They don't want to wear them. They're all at risk. So whether it's music industry, uh, aircrafts, factories where there is a lot of noise, the same pathology applies. Too much power going into the ear, destroying the hair cells. A lot of people use ear pods all the time now. Is it harmful to use ear pods all the time as well as maybe earphones? No, I don't think they are harmful in themselves. It all depends upon the volume at which you're playing them. Hmm. So if you're hearing them at normal volume, I don't think there is any harm in it. But if you are the one who tries to sort of boost up your music and you're hearing it all the time, I told you 80 decibels and above for a prolonged period is going to cause damage. Hmm. So if you're using that, be sensible. Keep the volume to tolerable levels. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.